Starting at center and wearing number 30, a six foot 10 inch senior, Jay Teagle. Starting at one guard, a six foot two inch sophomore, number four, Lyndon Jones. And starting at the other guard, a five foot five inch senior, number 22, Nikki Mallory. The head coach of the Giants, Mr. Bill Green. Coach Green's assistants, Mr. Ray Sims and Mr. Mel Weissong. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Principal Richard Klein, Athletic Director Dave Fulkerson, and the home team on the scoreboard for Game 2, the Tigers of Warsaw High School. First, let's meet their non-starters. Number 11, Mike Hen. Number 13, Rod Wilson. Number 21, Brad Drudge. Number 33, Brant Bear. Number 35, Mike Hall. Number 51, Robert Johnson. And number 53, Sean O'Connor. And now the starting lineup for the Warsaw Tigers. Starting at one forward, a six foot two inch senior, number 31, Joe Sands. Starting at the other forward, a six foot five inch sophomore, number 44, Rick Fox. Starting at one guard in the Tigers three guard offense, a six foot senior, number 24, Jeff Tucker. Also starting at guard, a six foot one inch senior, number 25, Steve Holler. And at the final guard position, a six foot two inch senior, number 43, Jeff Gross. The head coach of the Tigers, Mr. Al Rhodes. His assistants, Mr. Dennis Van Dyne, Mr. Pete Smith, Mr. Jerry Ryman, Mr. Hal Gunter, and Mr. Tony Sumter. Our officials for game two, from Alexandria, Mr. Ron Beard, and from Brownsburg, Mr. Mike Bohan. That's a look at the starting lineup for the We're back at the Coliseum in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and we're about ready to tip it up with today's second ball game. Jay Teagle will jump up against Jeff Rick Fox of Warsaw. The tip is controlled by the Marion Giants. With the basketball is Jay Edwards. He throws it away, though. Jeff Tucker picks it up. A turnover against Marion to start the ball game. Steve Holler with the basketball on the right side. Inside of Rick Fox. He went up for the shot, lost the handle on the ball. It was tipped away and out of bounds by LaFon Bowen. It'll belong to Warsaw, the Tigers. Steve Holler, Jeff Gross, and Jeff Tucker at the guards. Joe Sands and Rick Fox on the inside. Inbounds play goes to Gross. Mr. Basketball candidate has it stolen away by Nicky Mallory. Quickly ahead to Lyndon Jones. He lays it up and in. And the Marion Giants are on top. Two to nothing. The Marion Giants draw first blood. Two to nothing. And Warsaw will walk it back up. Steve Holler in the forecourt. Gives it off to Joe Sands inside to Gross. Gross lost the handle out of bounds. It'll go over to the Marion Giants. Two turnovers already against Warsaw. Only one against Marion. Nicky Mallory quickly up the floor. He gives it off to Jay Edwards. Lost the handle back to Mallory. He drives in. Put up the shot. No good. Teagle rebounds up and put it in. Four to nothing. Marion on top. And that may be a good omen because Rogers trailed four to nothing early in that ball game and went on to win it. Marion with a 4-0 lead. Jeff.
Tucker on the right wing gives it out top to Steve Holler. Holler back to Tucker inside to Joe Sands. Drives down low. Sands up with a shot. No good. Fox with a rebound. Went up for the shot. It was blocked and out of bounds. It belonged to Warsaw. And the Tigers will inbound under their own basket. Well, the 23 and 2 Warsaw Tigers getting off to a little shaky beginning, missing their first two shots. A couple of turnovers. Throws on the inbounds play. Jumper up well short. He got the rebound and he's fouled. And give the foul to Lyndon Jones. His first, the team's first. Jeff Gross with good rebounding position. See the contact there by Lyndon Jones. And Gross had good position for the rebound. So Warsaw gets the basketball now. They'll inbound side court, forecourt. Jeff Tucker to inbound. He'll get it into Steve Holler with no problem. 6.40 to go in the first quarter. Just underway from the Fort Wayne Semi-State Notre Dame basketball against North Carolina to follow immediately. Fox pass intended in the corner for Sands is tipped away by Bowens out of bounds. Warsaw gets the ball back. Tucker will inbound. Jeff Tucker off top to Steve Holler. Holler top of the key, double team. Gets it off to Gross. Marion back in the 2-3 zone. Tucker, he'll fire it. Good outside shooter, knocks it down. Warsaw on the board, 4-2. Now, Warsaw, a team that can uh, likes to play against the zone, actually, if you'll stay in it, because they are, have some excellent outside shooters. LaFon Bowens in the left corner. A top to Nicky Mallory. Now a jumper put up by Jay Edwards. It's good, and it's a 6-2 ball game. 6-2. Marion leads Warsaw. First points for Edwards. Gross now gives it off to Holler. Inside to Gross. Gross had to dribble to keep from traveling and lost the basketball. It comes down to Jay Edwards who gives it off to Nicky Mallory. He'll go coast to coast in traffic, threw it away. Offensive foul against Nicky Mallory. They give credit to Steve Holler drawing that personal foul. First foul against Mac Mallory. Second team foul against Marion and Warsaw gets the basketball back. Failing six to two. Tucker inbound to Steve Holler. What a great ball game Steve Holler had in the championship last year against Vincennes as he hit six out of eight shots in the first half and was a big difference for Warsaw. Jeff Gross on the right wing, left side now to Tucker. He'll fire it up again, in and out won't go. And Jay Edwards has a rebound. Uh, off to Nicky Mallory. Mallory up the floor quickly. He'll bring it back out. Right side, he goes to Jay Edwards. To Nicky Mallory, Jay Teagle. Drive down low, jumper up, no good. Rebound to Lyndon Jones, shot up, no good. Rebound, Gross. And a foul on Jay Edwards as he came over the back of Jeff Gross. First foul on Edwards. Much Gross, he does his, Warsaw lacks the height, but they great position inside. Look at Gross, 43, had the inside position, and Edwards went over the back for the foul. And that's team foul number three against the Marion Giants. Warsaw has yet to commit a foul. And the Giants back back in that zone. They get the ball to Rick Fox. It's off his leg, and Edwards has it. Gets it ahead to LaFon Bowens. Bowens going down the forecourt, gives it off to Mallory now. Mallory back to Bowens in the corner. He drives the baseline, stops, pops off the glass. Good. LaFon Bowens knocks it down. His first two, and it's an eight to two. Marion Lee, their biggest of the ball game, and Warsaw has the basketball again. Tucker, Joe Sands inside to Gross, holding foul against Bowens. LaFon Bowens guilty of his first, the team's fourth. And it'll be a common foul out of bounds to Warsaw, but the Tigers are heading for a bonus situation early in this ball game. And if they get into the free throw situation, they're a pretty good free throw shooting ball club. Uh, as a team, 72%. That's more than pretty good. That's good. That's excellent because that also includes the guys who maybe aren't so good. Inbounds play, an easy pass, good assist to Steve Holler and Rick Fox laid it up and in. First points for Fox. It's an 8-4 ball game. Nicky Mallory. Holding up a handful of fingers, indicating the play. Lyndon Jones, Mallory, Jones, guarded by Tucker. Warsaw on a man-to-man. -man. Jones takes Tucker around the lane, can't get a shot off, comes back out on top. Good defense by Warsaw. And Lyndon Jones ran right over Jeff Tucker. Good position for Tucker. Good anticipation of where Jones wanted to go. Second foul against Lyndon Jones. 15 foul against Marion. And the Warsaw Tigers going to shoot free throws already. You betcha. Jeff Tucker will go to the free throw line, and we've still got four minutes and 16 seconds to go in the first quarter. And if you're going to put Warsaw on the free throw line for 12 minutes and a half, you're asking for trouble. Here's Jeff Tucker at the line. He shoots 
70% from the free throw line for the season. First free throw by Tucker in and out won't go. Rebound off to Jay Edwards. Edwards gets it off to Lyndon Jones. Jones in the forecourt, left side to Edwards. Edwards stops, pops off the rim, no good. Rick Fox has the rebound for the Tigers. Fox gets it off to Jeff Gross. He'll bring it up to forecourt. Goes right by Jones. Gross all the way down the baseline. Off balance, shot up, no good. Rebound to Teagle. Jay Teagle with a nice rebound for Mary and gives it off to Mallory. Ahead quickly on the right side to Edwards. Back to Mallory out on top. In the corner to Edwards. He fires it from long range. Good. Ten. Four. Marion on top by six. Four points for Edwards. Marion back to that six-point lead, their biggest of the game. Holler, left side to Tucker. Sands back out top to Holler. He'll fire it from 20. No good. Bowens with a rebound. Bowens got into traffic and wisely held it up. Gives it off to Mallory. Nikki Mallory in the forecourt. Goes in the corner to Bowens. Shot up to her. Don Bowens makes it a 12-4 ball game. Warsaw trails it by eight. Four points for Bowen. Holler. To Tucker, left side, Joe Sands. Sands on top to Holler. Right side to Gross. Jeff Gross got to get on track. Gets it inside to Sands. Ten-footer in and out won't go. Rebound comes down to Tucker. A Warsaw. He drives in, can't shoot. Out top to Holler. And Warsaw will run the offense again. Holler, right side, gets it out top to Tucker. Left side, it goes to Sands. Sands will fire from long range. In and out, in and out, in and out. Won't go. Gross has a rebound up and in. Oh, they're going to say Jeff Gross travel with the basketball. Five turnovers against Warsaw, and we'll watch, we'll watch the Warsaw Tigers now. Jeff Gross heads over the bench. He can't believe they called that on him. They called traveling. He had the easy shot, and we are through almost six minutes of play here in the first quarter with the score. Marion 12, Warsaw 4, back after these messages. Back to action now. 2.30 to go first quarter, 12 to 4. Marion leads Warsaw by 8. Mallory out top to Edwards. They get into Bowens, turn around, jump for good. And Marion continues to play very well, 14 to 4. Six points for Bowens, a 10-point lead for the Marion Giants and the Warsaw Tigers. Looking for somebody to get some points on the board. They've had some good shots. Just have uh, started off pretty cold. Inside to Fox, put it up and in. Four points for Rick Fox, and I guess Al Rhodes says if we can't shoot it from the outside, we'll make it easy on ourselves, and Fox got the easy bucket. Well, until that basket by Fox, they were shooting just 20% on two out of 10. Bowens, free throw line, jumper up, no good, rebound out to Holler. Steve Holler has the basketball, and he'll hold it up now as the Warsaw will set up in the half-court offense. One thing Al Rhodes does not want to do is get in a running game with a quicker team like Marion. And now Bowens goes down the floor. He double dribble, no call. to get it off to Jones. Shot up, no good. Edwards turned around, jumper, no good. And Tucker has a rebound. And Warsaw dodged the bullet that time because it was a two-on-one break for the Marion Giants. And Jeff Tucker brings it down the floor for Warsaw. Gets it to Holler. Holler will dribble down on the right wing now. Looking for Fox out top to Tucker. To Sands on the left wing. Into Gross. Gross got a man in the air. Drives down low. Stop. Ball stolen away by Edwards. Edwards lost the basketball. Got it back. Gets it off to Lyndon Jones. And seven very uncharacteristic turnovers against Warsaw. Only two for Marion in the corner. Jay Edwards gives it off to Lyndon Jones. To Jay Teagle. Teagle is not a uh, fierce offensive force, but he is a good rebounder. LaFon Bowens back to Nikki Mallory. And we got a three-second call. As Jay Teagle had one of those 14 and a half double E's in that lane. And the turnover goes against the Marion Giants. Warsaw gets the basketball, trailing 14 to 6. They trail by as many as 10. Chance to cut it down to a six point lead right here. Jeff Gross. He'll fire from 22. In and out, no good. Tucker rebounds. His shot up, partially blocked. Teagle had the rebound. And a foul called on Joe Sands in the rebounding position. Sands had uh, no uh, chance at all against Jay Teagle and went up and got a foul. His first, the team's first. Marion Giants basketball against full court pressure. They inbound, it goes to Jay Edwards. He gives it off to Lyndon Jones, and Jones will bring it up for the Giants into the full court, guarded by Tucker. Jones cross court to Mallory. Bill Green in front of our broadcast location. You'll hear him all afternoon hollering instructions to his ball club. Well, he yelled something that sounded Russian to me. He said Red Square. 
Mallory with the basketball gives it out to Edwards. I think they're trying to get Warshaw to come out and overplay on defense. Lyndon Jones on the left side looking for Mallory. Mallory has it. Mallory now to LaFon Bowens. Mallory back to Bowens with six seconds, with five seconds in the first quarter. Mallory to Bowens. He's got to fire up a rainbow. It's good at the buzzer. Oates could paraphrase something like an old comedian used to say many, many years ago. What a revolt development this is. This ball club is shooting only 23% on three out of 13. Marion, 53% on eight out of 15. Jeff Gross has yet to score. The only points, Rick Fox with four and Tucker with two. Tip to start the second quarter belongs to Marion. Mallory with it. Left side, Lyndon Jones. Jones looking inside and goes to LaFon Bowens. He'll put it up in the air. Off the side of the backboard, no good. Partially blocked, they're going to say, by Joe Sands. And they're going to give the basketball to the Marion Giants. Rebounds about even. Nine for Marion, ten for Warsaw. Bowens inbounds way out on top to Mallory. Mallory brings it back out top of the circle. Looks right side and goes to Jay Edwards. Edwards back to Mallory. Mallory dribbles down the left side. Now goes to Lyndon Jones. Jones crossed the circle. Free throw line, jumper up, rolls around, it won't go. Rebound comes out of Tucker of Warsaw. Tigers back on offense now, trailing 16 to 6. Half minute gone here in the second quarter. Jeff Gross yet to score in this ball game. Mr. Basketball candidate. Bob pass inside to get it to Tucker, up off the glass and good. Nice play by the Warsaw Tigers and Jeff Tucker. Four points for Tucker. Mallory down now for the Marion Giants to Edwards, to Teagle. Turnaround jumper good, and Jay Teagle with good form in the lane. He put it up on Annie, has four points. Steve Holler, right side now to Gross, inside to Sands. Sands over Teagle, shot up no good. Fox with a rebound, up and good. Tigers working hard on the offensive end. Got another bucket to cut that lead back to eight. 18 to 10, Mallory goes by Holler. Gets it off to Edwards. Edwards picked up by Gross. Teagle has it. He'll fire it over Fox. Off no good. Lyndon Jones with the rebound. Shot up no good. Rebound out of Tucker and a foul called on Lyndon Jones. Jones reaching in against Tucker. Now they're going to say the foul is on oh, Jay Teagle. So the big guy draws his first foul. We'll go to the other end to shoot one and a bonus. And Jerry, after Warsaw got the bonus situation with four minutes to go in the first quarter, they only got one opportunity, and they missed on that one, so it did not pay off as uh, Warsaw had hoped. Here's the guy, uh, the kid that got the opportunity, Jeff Tucker, who hopes to redeem himself, and he does with his fifth point. 18 to 11. Marion leads it by seven. Warsaw Tigers defending state champions, and champions until somebody proves otherwise. Tucker's second free throw is up, and it is no good, but Rick Fox has a rebound. Fox goes down, and they're going to call him for an offensive foul as he ran right into LaFon Bowens. And Rick Fox shook his head to the official and said, good call. I was uh, overly aggressive. First foul on Fox. Only the second team foul against Warsaw. Lyndon Jones inbounds to Jay Edwards. He's across the time stripe, top of the circle. Over Gross, shot up, no good. Rebound to Steve Holler. Steve Holler cleaning the board for the Tigers. They come down, fast breaking. Holler gonna go in to end, put the shot up, no good. Jones with a rebound for the Marion Giants. Off his foot, out of bounds, it'll belong to Warsaw. Give credit to Joe Sands and Jeff Gross for good defense on the floor. Jeff Gross is a winner, and if you can't, uh, you can't do it with your offensive points, you find other ways to win, and that time the Warsaw Tigers got the turnover. Inbounds paid it, play to Gross. He lobs it into Fox. Turnaround jumper. Denied, and no goaltending call, and Jeff Gross can't believe it. I can't either. Holler, right side, he goes to Tucker. Tucker will fire it up, and it's off no good. Rebound to Fox, had it. Teagle took it away. Teagle gives it off to Mallory now. Warsaw missing some opportunities again. Mallory comes down and travels with the basketball for Marion. Got caught on his hip, he couldn't get rid of it. Five turnovers against Marion, eight already for Warsaw. And the Tigers are going to want another timeout as Al Rhodes sees some adjustments he needs to make. And Al Rhodes, who is a very... Uh, well-mannered coach, uh, every time we've seen him is in the official's face, and I don't blame him on that goaltending call as Rick Fox went up with a short jumper. We've got a timeout. We'll be back after these messages. What makes Noble Roman's pizza so great? Maybe it's by seven, they led by as many as ten on three or four occasions, and but Warsaw can close the gap. Jeff Gross got his man in the air, went up for the shot, and LaFon Bowen's got him over the back, so... 
Jeff Gross will go to the line to shoot two. And Jeff Gross, an outstanding free throw shooter, along with all of his other attributes, Bob. 85% from the line coming into the ball game on 177 out of 208 attempts, but he's looking for his first point in this ball game. And you got to give credit to Bill Green and the Marion Giants. They have put a matchup zone on Gross, and his first oh. free throw attempt is in and out, no good. And we're almost 10 minutes into this ball game, over 10 minutes into this ball game, and Jeff Gross hasn't scored. Second free throw for Jeff is up, and this one is good. All-time leading scorer at Warsaw High School, premier player in the state. He has one point, and it's a 18 to 12 ball game. Warsaw back within six. Marion basketball. Nikki Mallory, right side of Jay Edwards, lob pass to Teagle, turn around, shot up off the glass and good. And Jay Teagle is playing better already in this ball game, Jerry, than I think we've seen him any of our trips down here to Fort Wayne the last couple of years. Well, he gets his sixth point on a nice turnaround shot. 20 to 12, Warsaw trails by eight. Right side holler in the corner to Gross. Warsaw being very patient despite trailing by eight points. Gross, left side to Tucker. Jeff Tucker out top to Steve Holler. Corner to Gross. Gross put on a move, he traveled with the basketball. Nine turnovers against Warsaw, only five for Marion, and the Giants have the basketball and an eight-point lead. Down the right side, it's Lyndon Jones in the forecourt. Bounce pass along the right side, chipped out of bounds. It'll belong to Marion. Lafon Bones will inbound now for the Giants. He gets it into Mallory. Mallory goes by Holler in the lane, gives it off to Jones. Shot up, no good. Joe Sands did not see Steve Holler open down the floor. And they bring it back down. They give it to Gross, and Gross gives it off to Holler. Holler. Top of the key, right side to Gross. The corner to Sands. The credit to Marion, they're doing a nice job on Jeff Gross. He goes inside off the glass, good. That time Gross found a way to get it to the hoop. Three points for Gross. It's a 20 to 14 ball game. Warsaw within six. Bob pass down low to Teagle. Jumper up by Edwards, in. Got it. 22 for Crane. Jay Edwards with six points. Warsaw got to an answer back now. Right side, Gross has it. He'll fire it from long range. Jumper, no good. Rebound comes down to Jay Edwards. Edwards fast break, three on two now. Edwards will pull up. He gives it off to Bowens. He takes it in strong. Holler drew the personal foul. Steve Holler on the foul, his first. And the team's third. See the replay. Holler reached in, got him on a hand, and oh. it'll send LaFon Bowens to the free throw line. To Bob, they two. changed that foul. It's on Joe Sands. That's his second. So erase Holler's foul. Well, evidently, Sands got him with a the body then. Bowens will go to the free throw line, shooting two. Bowens has got eight points in the ball game. This is the first free throw opportunity for not only himself, but for the team. And it's good, 23 to 14. The first game this afternoon was won in a thrilling ball game by Michigan City Rogers, defeating Fort Wayne Northrop 60 to 59. Substi substitution for Warsaw. Robert Johnson checks into the lineup, replacing Joe Sands. Johnson, good, good man off the bench for that inside game. Bowens at the free throw line. He has another opportunity and a chance to put Marion back on top by 10. And he does. LaFon Bowens, a very pure shooter. It's a 24-14 ball game. Bones with 10 points already in the ball game. We've still got just under four minutes to go in the first half. Jeff Gross, guarded by Bones, takes him inside, jumper up, it rolls around, falls through. Gross now with five, all coming in the second quarter. Jay Edwards on the right side, ball tipped away, almost stolen. Mallory picks it up, gets in the left side now to Lyndon Jones, out top to Mallory. Right side, Teagle, back to Mallory. Mallory in the lane, gives it off to Johnson, or Jones rather, is shot up no good. Gross had a rebound, oh, Robert Johnson has it. Johnson and Gross were fighting for it, and Johnson pulled it down, he's a good rebounder. Gross now with the basketball, looking inside and gets to Johnson, Johnson gives it to Fox, and Fox travel with the basketball. 10 turnovers against Warsaw, maybe a little bit too much passing that time. Substitution for the Marion Giants, Kyle Persinger, 6'2 sophomore, checks in. And sitting down is Lyndon Jones, I believe. Shot put up by Jay Edwards. He knocks it down. 
46-16. Marion back on top by 10. Warsaw basketball. Steve Holler. To Gross. Jeff Gross looking inside. Credit to Warsaw. They're being patient. They're playing their game. Tucker shot up no good. Bowens rebound. LaFon Bowens with a rebound and a steal made by Holler. And Holler went into the scorer's table on the far side. Looks like he'll be all right. Steve Holler, a hustling player for the Warsaw Tigers. Was on that championship team a year ago. Inbounds play. They get it to Jay Edwards. He's double teamed and he gives it off now to Persinger. Persinger dribbles in, gives it to Teagle. Teagle, offensive foul. I don't think the basket's going to count. The contact came before the shot. No basket. And Teagle draws his second foul. Watch the replay now. It's Jeff Jay Teagle got a nice pass from Persinger, but Johnson had position, and before he let go of the ball, the contact was made, and Teagle draws the offensive foul. Substitutions now for Marion. Derek Keyes will check in, replacing Teagle, and Lyndon Jones will check back in the lineup, replacing Persinger, who played just briefly. But Robert Johnson, and then in just a couple of moments, he has a rebound, and he's drawn a personal foul, so he's helping out the Warsaw cause. Inside, they get it to Gross. He put it up on there. Nice play, and he assists to Johnson. Seven points for Jeff Gross now. 26-18. Warsaw trails it by eight. Mallory cross-courts it to Jones. Jones shot up, no good. Rebound. Tipped up and in by Derek Keyes. Derek Keyes, the younger brother of Notre Dame star Trina Keyes, and had a big bucket there for the Marion Giants to put him back on top by 10. They'll have the basketball and can go. Can go well, you can hit on with somebody else, but what are you going to do with a 48-member <laughs> entourage? Back, uh, back to play now. Lyndon Jones bounce pass the right side to Jay Edwards. They get it inside to Derek Keyes. To Bowens. Bowens puts it up and in and a 12-point lead. Biggest of the ball game for the Marion Giants. 30 to 18 over the Warsaw Tigers with just under two minutes to go in the first half. Jeff Gross right side goes in the corner to Robert Johnson. Johnson to Fox. Rick Fox went up for the shot, got it back, put up the shot, no good. Rebound LaFon Bowens and Rick Fox finding the going tough inside. Down court, Jay Edwards shot up good. 32-18, Marion on top by 14. 10 points for Jay Edwards. Steve Holler. To Jeff Gross in the corner to Johnson. Warsaw being very patient. Tucker drives to the lane. Travel with the basketball. And now the Warsaw Tigers talking about being out of character. Jerry, they're a very disciplined team. And already in this first half, they've got uh, 11 turnovers. Well, it's a, certainly a disappointing performance, but a ball club that uh, that has this much experience and at the same time as well disciplined can still get back in it. In, so we'll just have to wait and see here. Mallory to Edwards, and Marion going to put some room between them and the basket. Mallory. Mallory goes by Holler in the lane, gives it off to Bowens. Bowens back out to Persinger. Kyle Persinger gets it back to Bowen. Fon Bowens cross court to Mallory. Edwards, Mallory playing catch and being very patient. They've got a 14-point lead over Warsaw, and why not? Inside, Derek Keyes laid it up and in. Make it a 16-point lead at 34 to 18, and the Marion Giants looking for all the world like the state's best team right now. Steve Holler in the paint, lays it off. Johnson put it up good. Robert Johnson ends a streak of eight unanswered points by Marion. Johnson with his first two points. It's a 34 to 20 ball game. Marion leads Warsaw. Steel made. Holler has the basketball. Gives it off to Gross underneath. Gross goes up. Reverse layup, no good. Johnson came down, tipped the ball away, goes out of bounds, and belong to Marion. And the Tigers missed a good opportunity there. It's a 14-point Marion lead, and the Tigers, with just 17 seconds to go in the half, going to try to keep Marion from scoring again. Remember, uh, LaFon Bowens hit that long jumper at the end of the first quarter. Jay Edwards into the fourth court with nine seconds now. He's tied up. He gets it off to Persinger. Persinger shot up no good, and Fox has a rebound, and Derek Keyes came over the back in the personal foul, so the Tigers get a break. Just a couple of seconds left. Fox had good position inside. Look at Persinger. Put it up off the glass. A little bit too strong. Fox had the rebound position, and Derek Keyes drew the personal foul. His first, and with four seconds to go, Rick Fox will have a chance for the Tigers to get back within 12 before the half. 
6'5 sophomore boxes, averages 11.3. He has six points on the afternoon, looking for his first free throw opportunity. Shot is up and good. Rick Fox puts it through. 20, 